for the most part, we're trying to go business as usual as much as possible. In fact, the building department is still actively processing permits and they are available for issuance if someone's ready to pick up their permit once they've been given an email for uh, the fact that their process has been approved and they can pick those up. And planning and zoning are still doing as much as they can do internally and we're trying to close down any uh, projects that were close to being finaled and final those out so that people can actually have their properties and be living there. When the construction shutdown order came from Public Health, there was 180 active permits in Picking County and active projects that needed to be contacted and informed of this shutdown. One of the most difficult things about making these contacts with con contractors during the shutdown time is the heart-wrenching piece about everyone wants to be able to, to uh, keep their income coming in. And uh, so many of the questions were, can I still have one or two guys working, you know, they really need the money, can they be on this site safely and work under protocol and keep these job sites going? And I had to give the tough answer of there's no exceptions at this time. We hope maybe in the long run we can start looking at options and alternatives and ways to make that more possible. But at this time we wanted to go with no exceptions to this rule. We just think that's the safest for the public. In the area of inspections, uh, we've had to make some adjustments. And prior to the stop work order, we actually had to come up with a protocol for how to do safe inspections. And that protocol probably will be reinstated once we come or be able to safely return to work. We may have to actually ramp things up through this protocol. And that protocol was, if we could, doing video or photo type inspections to uh, look at the scope of work. If the scope of work was too complex, say a huge framing of a big complex house or concrete pours with endless walls, we had to go ahead and go on the site. So what we did very cooperatively with the contractors was scheduled a minimal personnel inspection where there was very few people on the job site, only critical personnel, and sometimes just the general contractor and my inspector would walk through the job site and actually take a look at things in person. Because some inspections are way too critical to just take a video of or, or a photo of. So we put that protocol in actually prior to the shutdown order and we're actually working in that mindset because our goal was to actually keep the economy going and to keep the contractors working but when the shutdown order came from public health we knew that that was mandatory and there was no exceptions to that rule the contractors were very supportive and i want to thank them and i want to thank the public for their time that they've put into this and for being so willing to participate in the shutdown because i know this has been tough it's been tough for all of us